Ah, para ti. So today we're going to cut a caveman steak. The biggest steak, well Seth's gonna cut it, the biggest steak that you can cut. The old 96er made famous in the great outdoors when John Candy sat down to ate it. So we're gonna take and we're gonna cut from the middle of this round, this giant caveman style steak. Seth can cut it whatever thickness he thinks is great. It should weigh somewhere in that five to six pound range. And then we're gonna show you a brand new seasoning that we're gonna put on it because we're gonna take this giant steak and we're gonna throw it over a nice wood charcoal fire and see how it turns out with our new seasoning on it. Something we've never done, the caveman steak. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a slice of steak out of this entire round, which is gonna include the sirloin tip, the top round, the bottom round, and the eye of round. And we're just gonna take our bandsaw and we're gonna cut a nice big thick steak right across this round. The biggest steak you can get on the entire animal. Let's just get started. First, we have to remove our rose meat, then we'll take the flank steak off. Once we get that off there, so this is the beef flank steak. I switched to the 10 inch Victorinox for this because normally what I do is I use my eight inch breaking knife and I pull this tri-tip and this round tip off of this. This is the knuckle. I pull this whole piece off prior to breaking down the remaining portion of this round. But to get this caveman steak, I'm gonna do it a little bit different. So right here where this ball joint is, I wanna just make a cut all the way across this whole round. just like this and then we'll take our so you want to hit that joint right there where that ball joint is now I'll take my hand saw and I'm just gonna cut through that that ball joint and you pull the this whole sirloin piece off We'll set that to the side. Now what we want is this round portion. So you can see this has that round tip, the tri-tip, and everything that's just left on there. I'm going to start by moving this hind shank. It's a little bit different because that, since I left that knuckle on there, it doesn't expose it when I pull that round tip off. So it's a little bit harder to find. So we just want to remove that whole hind shank. Now we're going to pull the H bone out of here. And then we'll get our slice of caveman steak. So believe it or not, in my nearly 30 years of butchering beef, cutting meat, I've never actually cut this steak on a beef. I've done it on venison, but not on beef. Look at that. H bone out of there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this whole piece up on our saw. That's that rolled rump portion. Normally you'd get a rolled rump roast out of that.
Check it out, Scott. That's oh, a massive What a beauty. I better piece. I better scrape it. Let's get this throw it over here. Yep, let's get this scraped up and then we're going to get it on the scale. And let's see what this weighs, but that's that's a huge chunk of meat. What do you think? I think we better see what what it, what it weighs. Oh, whew. that's the double 96er, Seth. 12 pounds. Did the scale have a tear? Oh, we're going to need No, I took it off. We're going to need friends. That could feed a family of 10. Okay, so the only thing left now is to show you our special new spice that we're going to be using on this. Head to the fire. Yeah, and I wanted to just explain real quick. This, this is the top round muscle here. This is the eye of round. This is the bottom round. And then this is that round tip with a little bit of that tri-tip on there. So you have top round, eye of round, bottom round, round tip, tri-tip. Pretty cool. With a table like this, that can mean only one thing. You're gonna need some of our Bearded Butcher Blend clean spices. In fact, that's why we're in the spice business. We're commercial butchers who realized in order to have clean label products, we needed to come up with our own spice formulations. Now, we've got over 100 different combinations available on beardedbutchers.com, so you can go there and grab some of these unique flavors and try them yourself. We may be commercial butchers, but we can also relate to the home user just like you because right in front of us is an Ohio white-tailed deer, and you can guarantee we're gonna use some items like our famous maple seasoning to make some bacon or our dried mushrooms to make some mushroom and Swiss. Go ahead, grab some of our, D of our DIY kits, make these at home, and share them with your family and friends. I guarantee you're gonna be impressed. Welcome to the grill. Nothing better for a caveman inspired steak than our bold blend seasoning. This stuff is awesome. We just have the six ounce steak. We'll probably need to cut after you say this is, I say this is awesome. I'm not even gonna So I'm gonna use pretty much this whole six ounce shaker on this 12 pound caveman steak so what you didn't know about this video is this is actually a food challenge and you have to eat this entire thing in 30 minutes the that's gonna be sister. tough yeah this is the 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 192 er not the 96 er and in the movie the great outdoors I can guarantee you looking at that movie that was closer to this size based on the movie what it looked like in the movie. There it is. One shaker of our bold blend seasoning on this caveman steak. Now, let's get it on the fire. Circle bed going here. Ooh, listen to that sizzle. No idea how long this will take. What's our grill temp? Uh, 400 degrees, right on the mic. Did you smell the grill, huh? Did you smell the grill? What's up, little boy? Who's up, big boy? Steak weighs more than you. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it weighs like 26 pounds, so. About 30 minutes in, steak's in the mid 120s. 
So we're gonna go ahead and pull this this sucker off of here. Let her rest. Cut her open. Thought it would be appropriate to use this beautiful handmade knife. Something of our dad's. So he doesn't even know I have it. Not much has changed, but we're gonna try some different chunks of this. I already know just from putting the thermometer in that it felt like the sirloin tip or the round tip was more tender. Of course, we have the tri-tip, bottom round, eye round, top round. But let's just give it a cut here and see what it, see what it looks like. Oh yeah. You want to try it? So that's the top round first. Yeah. So I remember from our play button when we did this, it was surprisingly very You're not delicious. To wait. No. Oh. <laughs> that means good in caveman. That's very good. Mmm. Mm. Delicious. And that seasoning very, truly very is good. bold. It has that right up front garlic, salt, not too heavy. This is the bottom round. Bottom um, round. So man. you would you would think that cooking a big tastes like beef, Josh. You would think that cooking a, a big uh, round steak like that, it wouldn't be wait, wait, as tender and juicy, but it, it is. Hold on. Yeah, Get I'll, you some. I'll take some of that. Some bone marrow on there. Oh, yeah. Mm, does that kick it up a notch? No. Oh. oh. That is so good. Mmm. All right, let's try a chunk of this eye around. Tell you what, if you were going to have a big party or something, you were going to make some tacos, cook one of these up. Oh, every single bite. Mm. So that's that piece of that tri tip. There's a chunk of the tri tip. Can you um, tri -tip. take this piece and flip it over? So we can get more of that marrow? Yeah. Oh. Take a little more of that marrow out there for me, would you? Mm, mm, mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. There you go. That is so good. What was that? Was <laughs> yeah, what does that mean? Bone marrow good. Del <laughs> delicious in caveman. Oh. Dude. It's very, very good. Dude. Tons of flavor. I'm not sure if we're supposed to steal this knife. I don't think you'd be able to. Don't, just give it a dunk there. Yeah, into the, give me a smaller piece. Into the bone marrow cavern. That knife looks like it's actually working out pretty well. And the fat too. The fat's good. Job well done, Scott. Thank you. So there you have it. Something we've never done. The caveman steak. The old 192-er. Um, yeah, I suppose the, to the, complete the, old... the challenge, we should we should put this entire thing down. I'm not so sure if I'm up for that. In right the now. movie, the, which Scott mentioned, the old the old 96-er, they were, they were full of crap because it was <laughs> it was bigger than 96 ounces. That yeah. I can guarantee. Definitely you. approve. Paired with our new bold blend seasoning, tastes amazing. It's nothing like a big chunk of carnivore goodness. We hope you enjoyed the video. Appreciate you watching. Till next time, we'll see you later. See ya.